fantastic Range Rover concept. The new aggressive look of GLS 63. The market for sedans may no longer be what it was a decade ago, but there remain a number of compelling models out there, especially in the growing luxury and EV markets. These renderings depict a particularly interesting sedan that could conceivably join the ranks of the Mercedes-Benz XUS, Lucid Air and some of the innovative EVs coming out of China. This striking concept is known as a Range Rover Vision Travel and comes from the mind of Dreamau Jervex, a professional designer who works for a famous car maker specializing in EVs. While there is no indication that Range Rover plans to ever release an electric sedan, I think such a model could complement its current range quite nicely. In creating the concept, Jervex crafted a long and low slung body that may make the car a little hard to park, but would certainly result in a hugely spacious interior and make the vehicle feel like a private jet on wheels. While its shape is unlike anything that Range Rover has or will likely ever produce, it is still identifiable as a model from the British brand, thanks to a number of noteworthy design details. For example, the front of the Vision Travel concept has a full-width LED light bar, sitting just below the large Range Rover badge. It gives the car a futuristic look and looks a bit like a Robocop helmet. The concept also lacks the traditional front grille, instead featuring a small slot under the light bar and a larger grille at the bottom of the bumper, which I think sets this car apart from its predecessors and fits in very well with current design trends. Viewed from the side, the most obvious Range Rover trait are the silver side panels just behind the front wheels. In addition, we cannot see the door handles, allowing us to assume that this concept car uses a new door opening system and maybe it will be touch sensors. The rear of the concept is also quite interesting and takes inspiration from the 2022 Range Rover, but looks even more unique thanks to wraparound LED taillights, the additional brake light below, the roof mount is polar, and a second vertical brake light just above the rear diffuser. I can't help but mention the general shape of the body. At first glance, it seems very aerodynamic, which will definitely affect the power performance of the car and with proper engineering, the concept will be able to compete with today's leading electric vehicles. The Mercedes-AMG GLS 63 is a fast full-sized SUV with subtle styling cues that barely give away its athletic nature. For those who want a bolder look, Mansory has created their own version of the GLS 63, and it has more of everything. The styling is more expressive, the interior is more luxurious, and the engine has a lot more power too. Of course, the standard GLS 63 is nothing to scoff at as it develops 603 horsepower from its twin turbo V8, but still some buyers want more, and that's where Mansory comes in. To kick things off, the tuning and customization company has created a complete set of carbon fiber body components for the GLS. That includes a carbon fiber hood, a front lip, two different types of rear diffusers, fender extensions, a roof spoiler, and more. Buyers can also add protective brush guards in black or chrome. The elements give the GLS a much more aggressive look than the standard SUV. Still, the Mansory GLS 63 isn't just about looks. Power packages start on the low end with the P720 option, which includes software tuning that results in 710 horsepower and 1000 Nm of torque. That's a substantial increase, but it's somewhat overshadowed by the P85 nil package, which includes upgraded turbochargers, a sport exhaust system, a new downpipe and a new air filter. The total output for the P85 nil package is 838 horsepower and 1,100 Nm of torque. Customization doesn't stop there, and Mansory will provide whatever mix special materials inlays a customer might want. Velour or leather floor mats and trunk mats are also customizable, and there are 9 different wheel designs to choose from. Well guys, that's all I have for today. I hope this video wasn't boring and you've enjoyed during watching. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all automotive events. I wish you a good mood and see you soon. Bye.